Hello everyone. Oh my goodness. Real talk. Mum life is kicking my ass. I had to take a moment today just like to do some self care which you guys know for me is like makeup and making myself feel prettier. Like I need tan. I just feel so like not like myself right now and I just need to feel like myself a little bit. Basically Porter is just not sleeping. I don't know if it's the four month sleep regression. If you guys have any advice or experience tips whatever feel free to comment them below he's four months old in about a week from now on the 25th so you know i feel like it could have started already i don't know we're also transitioning him into a sleep sack rather than the swaddle because he's trying his hardest to roll i mentioned in my last video with hamish that you know he was hating the swaddle and loved the sleep suit honestly like boom all of a sudden he just went back on that and all of a sudden he hated the sleep suit and loved the swaddle he can't make up his mind so now yeah he just hates the sleep suit what was that voice my throat just made? I don't even know. Basically, re relatable. I've had three meltdowns in a row overnight, so he just won't sleep. As soon as I'm almost about to fall asleep, you know, he'll have like a 15, 20 minute nap and wake up and I'm just like, give me strength. And you know, I've got to be there for him. He's happy as, like, it's like he doesn't want me to put him down, I guess. He's happy as when he wakes up and sees me. But he's fussy when he's in his bed. He's fussy when he's in his sleep suit and not touching me. It's just a whole thing. I'm thinking about getting some like professional advice, hey, because I just don't really know what I'm doing. Anyway, today I'm going to do some first impressions. I'm going to use some favorites, some new stuff. I'm also just going to chuck on a freaking quick face mask because my skin, I've not washed my skin at night for like I don't know, five days in a row. So it's just kind of crusty. Hopefully if any of you guys are going through similar, you know, you'll find this reassuring maybe that you're not alone. Or maybe you've got an angel baby and if you do, I'm just pulling my fingers at you in my brain. <laughs> oh, anyway, I'm just gonna pop on this mask and fake tan while this kind of sets and then I'll fake tan my face. Look, I can't even think of what I'm saying right now. I do have another video with Hamish ready to go, but I just, I wanted to film makeup today. I wanted to upload a makeup video today. Or well, while you're watching this. Tomorrow. Wait. Yes. I don't know. What I'm trying to say is I'm going to edit this and upload it like ASAP. Tomorrow. Or the next day. Let's see how it goes. Because currently he's napping. Naps do not last long these days. 20 minutes, 30 minutes. I mean, every now and then we get a long one, like an hour and a half, but you don't know when they're coming. So you kind of just like always expect them to wake up. So you don't get much done because you're like, oh, he's going to wake up soon anyway. I don't want to start a big task. And then lo and behold, it's like his one big nap. Like, and they're always at different times. But we got on such a good schedule for a little while there. Literally, like I could put him down in his cot awake he would like settle himself to sleep he'd have good naps there were predictable times i knew how long his wake windows would be but right now i'm assuming it's a sleep regression i don't know like how do you ever tell but um he's up for longer like he won't settle you know during his normal wake windows sometimes he's up for like two hours sometimes he's up for one hour sometimes he's up for God knows what. It's so much less predictable. It's so much harder. And he screams like if he doesn't want to go to sleep. He's just like screaming. Oh my God, is he awake again? Like his whole schedule right now is just confusing me. And I'm just trying to survive. You know, like just doing what it takes. He's awake. Look. Look at him though. Smiling at Hamish. Look at him. He's like, he hey, hey, hey. He doesn't give a shit. <laughs> he does not give a toss. He's finally started eating better again. He went through this like phase of not wanting to eat. Um, and he's finally come out of that. So I'm assuming he was going through a leap. Oh, we had another leap. I don't even know. The amount of people that ask me um, if I've downloaded Wonder Weeks, I have. It's an app about their developmental leaps. But it never seems like on time for me. Like I always seem to be either early or late or I can't figure it out. Like because there's just constant leaps. And the app makes me feel more anxious than anything half the time. Because I'm like, oh my god, this sounds awful, like, every time. <laughs> but I can usually tell kind of when he's going through a leap because he starts learning lots of things. And, like, that's why I'm like, is he going through a leap now? Because, like, he's totally learning to roll and things or trying to roll. He's not really understanding how to actually do it. But he's, like, arching his back and trying to get, like, his hip over and, like... You know, he's loving tummy time. I'm just tying up my hair out of the way. I cannot wait to go back to the gym to her. I miss just like brainless 
workouts like literally just walking on the treadmill in an incline and scrolling Instagram and listening to music it's the little things like I just feel like Ugh. but I don't have energy even if even if I could just go to the gym like I just don't have the energy it's just a season we'll get through it and at least my baby is usually so happy like that's rewarding knowing that he's content and he's happy but me I'm struggling <laughs> don't worry not in terms of like you know mentally properly struggling like obviously I have moments um, I have moments of being sad and anxious but overall on a day-to-day -day basis once I get through that night I'm pretty happy but it's just those nighttime moments you know if you know you know oh my god like yesterday I pumped and I spilt some of my milk and I had like a meltdown and like now that he's like all of a sudden eating way more like I'm breastfeeding more and then he's draining me and then I have to like supplement with frozen breast milk that I've pumped you know because I used to have like more of an oversupply I don't know if my supply's gone down or if he's just like all of a sudden having a gross spurt and he just wants way more milk but I can't keep up on a day-to-day -day basis so I'm not sure if we're going to introduce formula at some point soon or what but if you guys have gone through something similar feel free to let me know your experience with all of that because I don't know it makes me feel just anxious even thinking about it all this is the moment I've been waiting for literally there's nothing better like makeup is probably second to me over fake tan like if I had to choose one or the other fake tan or makeup I honestly probably would pick fake tan quick life update um I lost my granddad a couple weeks ago I kind of was just in denial because just with the baby thing and breastfeeding and stress and everything I was just trying not to think about it. I was kind of in denial about it but his funeral was last week and it was really really sad and you know I've been really sad about that and I was at the funeral and I was talking to my auntie and I was like I swear you know everyone says that you lose so much weight you lose all the pregnancy weight when you breastfeed I've talked about this on my channel before but not me I'm hungry I eat to keep my supply up I'm not even eating like excessively like I'm starving all the time but I try to like keep it about what I need you know the weight just stacks on it's like my body's in survival mode and it's just like I'm not burning any of that anyway she was like yeah that happened with all of my children she said every single time I was waiting for it to happen no nope. it wasn't until after she stopped breastfeeding that she was able to shift the weight so I try not to worry about it too much but it's just like as time goes on and on and on like at the start I gave myself so much grace and I was just like who cares honestly like survival mode you've literally just had a baby you were nourishing a baby I still find it all so amazing I'm like literally like this baby's growing purely because of what I'm giving him and providing for him just from my body like it's pretty amazing but oh, I just don't feel like myself like I want to work out I want to like you know it's not like I'm, I want to be like thin or anything I wasn't before but it's just like I just feel frumpy and I just feel like bleh. I feel like my body isn't mine anymore and I just want to like get some endorphins and I just want to like just tone up more than anything like I just feel like everything's hanging lower these days you know so I just like to tone up a little bit but I guess once again I'll get there I don't mean for this video to be like me complaining either I'm just trying to chat with you guys and keep it real and hopefully provide comfort if anyone's feeling similar because so many of you guys which is so cool you know I've had babies around the same time as me people are like just ahead or just behind or pregnant at the moment and I just feel like yeah I just like to keep it real and offer a shoulder if any of you guys are feeling similar because if you're feeling better than me that's great but if you're struggling like I am you are not alone and we'll get through this everything is gonna be amazing here's a quick before and after such a beautiful shade all right wet take off mat just to remove the mask I love this one because it's so easy to take off it doesn't like irritate my skin but it like just brightens and clears it up so nice which is exactly what I want right now because it's so crusty all right, we are now glowing. I'm gonna take whatever's left on my fake tan mitt and just pop that on my face. Literally magic. Like I feel like a whole new person just, just with that. Okay, I'm gonna take down my hair because I just, even my face is so puffy and I'm just, mm, 
let's get into this makeup because I'm pissing around. Am I pissing around? Or am I just letting Hamish cuddle the baby and giving me some me time? A bit of both. These boxes have really caught my attention, but the palettes themselves are really plain, but I'm still thinking I might use one today because I think I'll do a bit of a bolder lip. Someone asked me to do a bold lip because I haven't done one in a while. I've done lots of nudes and pinks and things like as per, so I don't know. Like that's really pretty. Okay, I have so much good shit to show you today. Believe it or not, my feet tan is quite moisturizing, so I don't feel like I need a whole lot of moisture, but just something to add a little more. New Tarte, what is this? Uh, Hydro Flex Serum Foundation in the shade Medium Sand. Shake Well. Oh, this is made in Korea. I was going to use a sponge with this, but it's like a serum. So I'm going to use an angled face brush instead. And just whip that on real quick. Oh, lovely and easy to blend. Melts into the skin real quick. It's not streaky. Some serum foundations, you know, can be a little bit streaky. Which pisses me off when you have to like spend ages blending them to like make them look like skin. I don't like that. Whereas this one, look, it's like no streaks, which actually makes it quicker to apply obviously for like a quick everyday foundation. Cause sometimes you're like, oh, this is like a serum lightweight foundation. Like that'll be good for day to day. But if it takes forever to friggin' blend out, then no. I feel like you could build this up too. Like the way it kind of like sets on the skin. I might try it just to show you. But I love products like this these days, like just lighter. But that's still a good amount of coverage in my opinion. Like this could genuinely be a new go-to for me, don't you reckon? Like that's just pretty as. I'm gonna have to get a paler shade. I like the packaging, it's really compact, so good to chuck in your like makeup bag if you're going on the go. Oh, do you know a foundation? I'm dying to try those, that House of Gaga one. Wait, is it, what is it called? No, House Labs. <laughs> My brain man. So I'm just gonna kind of tap it this time rather than swipe it and just add that second layer for some more coverage. We'll see how it goes. It, I mean it's going well. Like I'll zoom in on my face in a second. I feel like it's a little bit more streaky on the second layer so you might have to like blend it a little more on that second layer. The first layer is like seamless. Second layer yeah. Just a little bit of extra work, but it's kind of worth it because it looks so stunning with that kind of more like medium to full coverage. The color is like spot on as well, love. Like I'll keep this slightly dark for you so you can kind of see every bit of skin texture. Like I think that looks stunning. Also the mask helps. Like it makes my skin look so much smoother. We have the concealer that I suppose goes with it, Power Flex. Everything I'm using will be linked below for you. Shade Medium Sand, so this should match. Hey, it looks really thick. I mean, is it gonna be like shape tape or something? Like that looks like really thick full coverage to me. I'm gonna use a sponge this time and, ooh, that blends out so gorgeous. One word to describe this would be smoothing. All right, I'm just gonna, s wait, no, wait, yes. I'm gonna sit under my eyes, but then I've got a cream powder, I mean, not cream, <laughs> brain work. I've got a cream blush and cream bl bronzer. bronzer. I am in love with everything I've got on my face so far. I've got these like new Super Shock bronzers by Colourpop, which are like, um, kind of like a creamy powdery consistency. Should I put these on before or after my powder is the question. And I also cream blush. Do I put this on first or the cream blush on first? <sighs> so stressful. Anyways, these are the Huda Beauty cheek tips. Ugh! And I'm gonna go, I'm not even gonna look at all the colors. We're just gonna go in blind. This is in the shade Proud Pink. I'm gonna use the butt end of my sponge. I'm not gonna say it's hard to blend, but it definitely kind of stays where you put it. Maybe it'd be better with a brush. I'm gonna add more. Use my brush there, use my foundation. That works better. I feel like you can apply quite a bit. I'm just gonna try putting some of this on now. I don't know, I feel like it would probably work okay on top of powder too. Anyways, this is the I'll Bet. <laughs> Punny. I've got a Colourpop discount code too. Listed down below. I think it's Shen 10 or something like that, but take advantage. I mean, it's already cheap as all heck. 
Ooh, this is the colour by the way. I don't know if I showed you. I'm using the same brush again. Angled face brush. Love a brush that you can do heaps of stuff with. So this is like being my blush, my foundation, and my bronzer now. And this is blending on so good. A little bit does go far, but you can blend it out real easy. Like it just buffs out so well. But on the nose. I take a 20 minute break to feed the baby and apparently the lighting just turned to shit and it's pissing down outside. Hey, I've got a new benefit product. Do you know what? I still haven't tried the pomade by them, but I don't know where I put mine. I'm gonna try, I think there's a new shade. 2.5 neutral blonde. Give me brow volumizing pencil. Okay, no. Are they just literally, I thought it was gimme brow, like the gimme brow. I'm gonna try this anyways. And my brows are still real tinted from my last video I did. I'll link it below where I tinted my eyebrows on camera so you can see what I used and how I did it. Someone told me today that I looked like I'd been electrocuted when I did my fluffy brows and made me laugh. Um, so today I'm not going to do fluffy brows and just see, see what we think. I think that colour worked right. Like it just kind of added a bit of, you know, a little bit of coverage without looking too chunky. What do you think of the non stuck out brows? I like the stuck out brows because they make me look like I've had a facelift. I just noticed my under eyes kind of creasing a bit. Push my powder back in under there a little. And then quickly, just before I continue with anything else, I'm going to use some Sea Mist. This is Rodeo Drive uh, Makeup Fixer by Ofra. They launched three new colours, so if you're like lighter or darker skin tone, there's like all these different shades. So this has got shimmer through it. So hopefully I don't hate this. I'm just going to do a little bit and just see how it looks. I think this blush will look really pretty on top of what I've got on. This is Prairie Air Pressed Powder Blush by Colourpop. It's super bright, but it's kind of like a neutral pink. I did have this one here by Colourpop. It's called Meow, which is kind of like a dupe for the Dior one. See how it's a little bit more like cool tone though? So I thought this one was just a little bit less cool, a little bit more neutral. This is a tapered powder brush. Oh, that looks so pretty on top of that. Um, what's it called? The cream. I love that. I'm not going to bother with primer today. I'm just going to whip on some eyeshadow. So this is the Pressed Powder Palette Kylie Cosmetics Mauve one. I'm going to use the shade Blushing. The colours look stunning. I'm winging it out towards my temple. And I love how this looks next to the blush. Now I'm going in with Love to See It, which is this like terracotta, like pinky cap color. I was going to say Kate, like shade colour. I'm just adding that into the crease as well just to deepen. I'm gonna also pop that on at the lower lash line because I'm just obsessed with that colour. Woo! That's a really pretty shade. It's neutral but it's peachy pink at the same time. Better with time, which is like this brownie one in the middle top row. No buffing that on the outer half of the eyelid slash you know outer corner crease area. Just using this big fluffy brush to keep it nice and soft. I'm gonna take the shade more of me. This is a KKW brush, by the way. Whoa, that looks pigmented. And I'm gonna pat that on the outer half of the lid. And also adding some more of that underneath. And then on the lid, I think I might go with this color because I'm immediately drawn to this one and this one not this one so my logic today is i'm going to use the one that i'm not drawn to does that make sense not really it reminds me of a color i've used before by huda beauty but i can't remember where <laughs> but i don't know it's really pretty i'm going to use a little bit of pony eye halo by exo beauty just because i want it to be extra intense and this will just add like a little pink cast. Can you see the difference? I have the lighter shade of Rodeo Drive by Ofra. So this is the colour The Hills. And just pop that. Oh shit, that's so intense. I mean it is Ofra. I should have expected that in a corner as well. 
And then taking a tulip face brush with the hills. I would normally use like a small face brush for highlighter, but because this highlighter is so blinding and full on, I'm just using a slightly bigger brush to kind of blow it out a little. Okay, I've got a brown eyeliner. This is the Tarte Men Eater Eyeliner Clay Pot, but in brown. It looks like this. I'm so excited to try this. I'm using the brush it comes with. Will I regret this? Maybe. There it is. Okay, yeah. I can't use this brush. Oh, fuck. Oh, it's going everywhere. That's my bad, not the eyeliners. We will persevere. Trust the process, I guess. We'll see if I can make it work. And okay, now I'm going to take the little brush it comes with. I'll just disconnect it. I'm going to take the Kylie palette and the darkest color there is, which is this burgundy baby color in the very corner. And I'm going to... Run that over the edges. We can tidy it up with a little bit of concealer in a second, but that looks much better, I think. I love the color of the eyeliner. And now we pretend like that eyeliner was just the look we were going for all along. Just taking a little bit more of the eyeliner, the brown. My waterline. I'm smoking it into the lashes of the outer half. I love that color. By the way, once it sets, it's really hard to smudge. So I did have to go back in with the eyeliner and kind of add some more and like blend it together with the eyeshadow. It's a good thing that it sets though, right? You don't want your eyeliner to smudge once it's like there. All right, I do like this palette. Mascara and then lashes. I've got some new lashes. So this is the Nostalgia Beverly Hills Mascara. I would do that. I would stab myself in the eye and get it everywhere. Honestly, just just bury me now. I'm just gonna let that dry for a while and just show you the lashes. These literally are, whoop, literally arrived while I was filming. So they're the new Auric ones. The packaging's stunning, so fancy. This is Viseroy. These are like the bougiest lashes I've ever seen. It says the Velvet Flutter Collection, inspired by the transformation of nature, portion of every sale goes towards wildlife conservation. Custom designed with all eye shapes in mind, cruelty free and vegan. Incredible. Quite literally stunning. Like, the packaging though. Oh, you get two pairs in a mirror. That's like the bougiest packaging ever. I wonder if you can reuse the packaging. Like, I wonder if they sell just the lashes. Do you know what I mean? I need to research that. Because that'd be cool if you could just like buy the refill and like put them back in and otherwise I don't really know what you'd use the compact for. Actually also you could like when you take off the lashes you could put them back in here too and store like lashes in here for your handbag or whatever. Glass wing. Oh, wait they're all different. Look this is clouded. So. Whoops. Is it just like a half lash version of the same lash. Kind of looks like it, I guess. Yeah, I think it's like a demi and a full lash strip of like the same kind of style. So clever. Actually, I want to use these ones, Viseroy. I feel like they're a bit more dramatic and fun. And I'm going to use the half style. Bougiest lashes I've ever seen in my entire life. Like flashest by far. Does anyone else say flash in any other countries or is that like a New Zealand Kiwi thing? Flash. Like to call something expensive looking like luxury flash here's at the before okay that's how the lashes look after i'm really happy with them i think they look really pretty they're not even like super demi lashes like they still cover most of my eye i think they just look perfect with that look though all right and then like i said i wanted to do something a little bit bolder on the lips i'm gonna use dial up by colourpop mm. yeah okay no i'm switching it to starship by colourpop this color is so pretty. Look at it. Like, gorgeous. I've got these Fresh Kisses um, from that same collection as the blush we used by Colourpop. Do I want to do like deep brown bold or like a bright pinky bold? Maybe this one. It's called Hook. What's the formula of this lip lacquer? Okay, it must stay shiny. mix in a little bit of kick it up these smell divine they smell like pudding i'm just not feeling the shiny lip though like it's just i don't know it's a lot i'm gonna take it off and do something different booked and busy by kylie lip blush and lip liner 
I do like the lip blush formula. It's kind of like a blotted lip vibe. Huge fan of this color. Is this still a bold lip? I don't know. I just prefer like either matte or I like just gloss in the middle. I don't really like the full lip being glossy. I don't know, it just looks like a lot for me. Regardless, that's today's look. It's still very wearable, even with the like huge eyeliner. I love this lip color. Time to go back and face reality. Have a really good day and I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Thanks.